sports team is not always the best sports team. It takes a big man to say that. Number six. Nothing. Sometimes that's the best thing you can say. Number five. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything, but it's just really funny. <laughs> Number four. I disagree with you, but I still like you as a person who is a human being and I'll treat you like that because if I didn't, it would make everything bad and that's what lots of people do in this lane. Whew, I need a water break, y'all. It's okay to disagree, but it's not okay to be mean. Number three, sometimes you just gotta scream. <laughs> Number two, life is tough, but so are you. Sometimes we all need to be reminded to keep going. Number one, something nice, anything. If you can't think of anything nice to say, you're not thinking hard enough. So what about you? What do you think people should say more often? Leave a comment below and let's hear it. Oh, and I got a bonus one for you. Something that we should say more often? Let's dance. Soul Pancake, subscribe! Corn dog for you, corn dog for you! 20 things we should say more often. Number 20, thank you. And not just on Thanksgiving, every day. Number 19, excuse me. Number 18, here's a surprise corn dog that I bought you because you're my friend. There'll be more corn dogs, and more happy people. This is a good idea. Corn dog for you, corn dog for you, corn dog for you. Number 17, I'm sorry. Number 16, I forgive you. Number 15, you can do it! But don't say it if it's something you can't do. Number 14, another thing that we should say more often, I have barbecue sauce in my shirt too. Before you say something about the barbecue sauce on somebody else's shirt, take a look at the barbecue sauce on your own shirt. Number 13, please. Number 12, everything is going to be okay. Number 11, Oh, you got me a corn dog too? You shouldn't have, buddy. Number 10, I don't know. I know a lot of people who need to say that. My sister. <laughs> Number nine, you're so awesome, I named my dog after you. Wait, 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 that could hurt someone's feelings. I mean boat, I named my boat after you. Wait, who even have a boat? You're so awesome, I legally changed my name to yours. Wait, that's super creepy. And, and just tell people they're awesome and mean it. Number eight. Hello, person that I've never met before. Here's a high five. <laughs> Number seven. My sports team is not always the best sports team. It takes a big man to say that. Number six. Nothing. Sometimes that's the best thing you can say. Number five. <laughs> That doesn't mean anything, but it's just really funny. <laughs> Number four, I disagree with you, but I still like you as a person who is a human being and I'll treat you like that because if I didn't, it would make everything bad and that's what lots of people do in this lane. Whew, I need a water break, y'all. It's okay to disagree, but it's not okay to be mean. Number three, sometimes you just gotta scream. <laughs> Number two, life is tough, but so are you. Sometimes we all need to be reminded to keep going. It's a pirate's life for me, Savvy.
Good morning, Pirates, and welcome to our fourth and final day of Bullying Prevention Week here on Pirates Unplugged. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Starlin. Today is Friday, October 13th. Wait, did, did you say Friday the 13th? While Jasmine gets herself together, we have a few announcements, so get quiet and listen up. There will be no boys basketball tryouts today after school. Practice will be after school Monday. Speaking of basketball, congratulations to the following who made the girls basketball team. Jasmine Bettis, Tony Brown, Kiara Carroll, Olivia Harvest, Tiberia Hawthorne, Nyla Hickenbottom, Arbany Holder, Kiaya Johnson, Kylie McCool, Sanaya Morset, Jocelyn Mongoli, Jeremiah Robinson, Abby Stork, Kennedy Vines, and Angel Young. Tryouts for our archery team are next week on the 16th through the 20th from 2.30 to 4.30. Please remind your parents of our upcoming parent meeting on Monday, October 16th, beginning at 8 a.m. in the PPS Media Center. Attention Scholars Bowl Team, we have a practice on Tuesday after school. Make sure to let Ms. Vickers or Ms. Wells know if your parents can provide transportation to the match on Wednesday. Also, please Scholars Bowl, sign up for a mind. The code is at PPS Scholar. Students, there is a limited amount of time left to purchase yearbooks, as well as to place an ad in the yearbook. See Ms. Whitney in room A102 for ad sheets. The deadline is October 31st. Did you miss Picture Day? Makeup Club and Fall Team Picture Day is Friday, October 20th. Students are not to wear spirit shirts on this day. We repeat, do not wear spirit shirts on October 20th. Good news, teachers. You have a duty-free lunch on October 17th. PTSA is providing sub sandwiches. Parents need to sign up on Sign Up Genius if they would like to bring chips and drinks and other foods items for the teacher's lunch. Do you love steak? I know I do. Then mark your calendars for October 18th. We are having a PPS Spirit Night at Burkett Steakhouse on Schillinger Road. A portion of the daily sales will be given to our PTSA. And next up, we have a birthday gram. Happy birthday, Gracie Kraft, from your friends Addison Shields. Gracie also has another birthday gram from Sophia Glass and one from Allie Merriman. And lastly, from your friend Anna Marie. We have another birthday gram for Bridget Burns from your friend Miles Thompson. Happy birthday. We would also like to wish 6th grader Richard Fairley a very happy birthday too. Students, today you may donate money to dress out of uniform to support Isabel Reimer's Red Ribbon Project. The cost to participate is $1 per item of clothing. That's shirt, pants, and shoes for a total of $3. Proceeds are going to help Brookshield, Brookside Intermediate School, which has damage during Hurricane Harvey. We are also having a t-shirt sale to help raise money for Brookside Intermediate School in Friendswood, Texas. As you saw in the video last week, the teachers there are wearing a shirt that says hashtag Bulldog Strong. We are continuing that idea with our design, adding hashtag Pirate Partners. The shirts will be on sale all next week, and you will be able to wear it on all Spirit Days this year. The cost of the shirt is $10, and every penny of profits will go directly to help kids just like us who lost everything during Hurricane Harvey. On October 30th, we're having a pink out day for $2 donation. Students can wear a pink shirt or a breast cancer awareness shirt and or tennis shoes. Each item costs $1. Next up is our bullying topic for today. Today's theme is the end of bullying begins with you. Bullying prevention takes a united effort of students and adults. It also takes an individual effort. It is about each person taking responsibility. The end of bullying begins with teachers. The end of bullying begins with all school personnel. And the end of bullying also begins with you. With each student beginning being willing to say that bullying will not be accepted and that everyone has a right to be safe at school. Have you ever put on someone else's shoes? What would it feel like to do that for a day? We have a special treat today. How does it feel to sit alone at lunch? How does it feel to be called a name? How does it feel to get booked in the hall? How does it feel to have someone stand up for you? or to speak up for someone else who is being picked on. These are some of the issues that we need to discuss today and every day here at PPS. And for today's lunch, it's an autumn hot dog. Get it? Because it's a chili dog. For Pirates Unplugged, this has been Jasmine and Starlin. How will you make a difference today?